and Pastor Van Dyke. Just a second, everybody. <laughs> That's bad. How are you guys doing? Yeah, yeah. Good, good show. Yeah. Hey, uh, is there somebody going to ask us questions? Yes. yes. There he is. Hello, I'm waiting for someone to ask a question. Who has one? Ooh, 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 I get a question. Oh, hit it. So, Lance. <laughs> And we, we're going to interview each other. <laughs> there you go, buddy. What? When you were doing Aliens, um, did, uh, did Cameron ask you to read Starship Troopers? Did he what? Ask you to read Starship Troopers, the, the book by Robert Heinlein. No. So somebody told me that no. the whole cast was asked to read Starship Troopers, and that when they told him, uh, that they told James Cameron that, um, they're making Starship Troopers. He said, why? I already made it. You, I never heard that story. Oh, can I ask you one? Yes, sir. When you were doing the bug movie, yeah. did you guys actually take a shower naked together, all of you? Yeah, we were all completely naked. Isn't that hot? Yeah. That's hot. That is hot. I thought if they gave me that part, that would have never happened. I would have, I would have found an excuse. You know, like, I would have played a colonel. Colonels don't ever get undressed, you know. So, so. There you go. Okay. Next question. Uh, I got a question from Lance. Um, they're doing a prequel to the Alien films, and now that they're sort of so into the various Alien movies, you know, I feel, that? I feel really crappy sitting down like that. Well, I'm going to sit up here. <laughs> I, really yeah, I feel like. <laughs> See? You know what that's all about? Like we were part of the, uh, what do they call that, Superior Court or something. You know, really. what, what was the question? Are you involved in the prequel to the Alien movie that's coming out? Are you talking about Ridley Scott's? Yes. <laughs> no. Damn. I heard about it that it was happening, but nobody's ever contacted me. Usually the writers at 4 o'clock in the morning, when they're trying to get out of the situation in their script, they go, I had an idea. Bishop. <laughs> So, and nothing's happening, no. I, I, I would tell you, I would tell you, I'd be wagging my tail all over the place. I love Ridley Scott, he's great. They're making a mistake if they don't have you in it. Oh, wow. Uh, hey, maybe we're both being it. We don't know what's happening. You know? Yeah, they, they probably make me an alien. <laughs> in a rubber suit. There's a great, there's a great Van Damme story where he, he got cast as the Predator, in the original Predator, and he was running around town going, I'm the Predator, I'm the Predator. You know? And then he found out the guy, you never saw him, he was in a big, you know, like a crab suit, you know, crab face. And he quit. He just said, I'm not doing it. No, it. <laughs> I, I would have loved to have been the crab face. <laughs> yeah, anybody got a question? Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I forgot to ask you when I got your autograph. Hoo-ha. Um, Hoo-ha. <laughs> uh, I heard a rumor that uh, the whole cast of uh, Starship Troopers only agreed to do that shower scene nude if the director directed it nude. Is that true? <laughs> Here we go with the nude thing again. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Why is it always about me dropping trout? <laughs> it's not about you now, it's about the director. I mean, I want to know if you guys hold this, this is exactly what happened. And a lot of you were here when Dina was here, right? Yeah, okay, so because a lot of people said, I got Dina's autograph. And so uh, we had to be naked in the shower scene. And we're all in there, we're all still wearing our towels, and we're going to shoot this shower scene. And Paul Verhoeven walks in, and he's like, so uh, are you guys ready to do this? And Dina goes, Dina goes, Paul, if we're going to do this, why don't you have to do it? And he goes, fine. Yost. Yost came in and goes, let's do it. They dropped their chow. And we're all like, oh, God, no. No. And they're like, 
now let's shoot this thing. And they pulled her pants back up, and they went out of the room, and we're like, thanks, Tina. And she's like, I, I didn't know you would do it. <laughs> but then it, it became this urban legend where all of a sudden, Paul Verhoeven's directing the entire scene naked. And I think maybe because he did Showgirls, or Setters, or Soldier Barnes, or Turkish Delights, or one of those perverted movies that I love. Um, he, uh, you know, the, the rumors just got really bad. But really, Starship Troopers, the, the shower scene was not too sexual. It was pretty just like we're all naked. And I get my ass slapped. Yeah, but that's what you think. The audience was in the theater going, that's kind of a really sexual scene there. You know what I mean? I mean, maybe it wasn't there, right, but it was yeah. here. <laughs> we liked it. We liked it. <laughs> Anybody, anything over here? Anybody? No? Okay, back over here. While, while we're waiting for somebody to pop up, I've got a question for you, Casper, because when the first movie came out, I was watching this and I'm going, this is brilliant. This is brilliant. Can't wait for the sequel. I saw the sequel and almost killed myself. <laughs> what went wrong? It looks so promising. I thought I'd have you for five or six films and then mm, we got a guy in the closet. In my opinion, in my opinion what went wrong was um, Starship Troopers was rated R and uh, everybody wanted it to be PG-13, but, um, and then a lot of people went to see like, uh, in the multiplexes, they would see Mr. Bean or Little Mermaid did release, and so a lot of, even the Times did the studies, they got a 1,013, 14 year old boys to buy a ticket to Mr. Bean and see if they could sneak into Starship Troopers, and they were able to do it. And so I think that it didn't make the money that they wanted to make the first time around. And so Starship Troopers 2, which I'm not in, uh, uh, only had like seven or eight million dollars or something like that. And Starship Troopers 1 was a hundred million. So, I don't know, a slight difference. <laughs> and then Starship Troopers 3, we only had seven or eight million. And, and the only reason I did that is that Neumeyer came to me and he said, this is my directorial debut. I would love to have him there, Casper. And I love him to death and I would do anything for him. And I was like, absolutely. Plus he sent me the scripts for five years. So, <laughs> I, I've read all versions of them, so that's, that's why I think two went wrong. And also the director didn't understand the humor. He wanted humor taken out and didn't want any of the original cast members in it. And we didn't have this guy in it. If we had had him, it would have been a done deal. Thank you again. Yeah. <laughs> we got someone there. Hi. Uh, I guess this is really more for Lance. Uh, since you titled your Don't book... Don't be sad about it. <laughs> Since you titled your book after a quote from Bishop, I guess it's safe to assume he's sort of your favorite role. Uh, who's your second favorite you know, character that you've been able to write? No, after you know, I wrote a biography, and after I wrote the book, uh, we were looking for the title, and, and we went through a, a numerous amount of titles. And, and uh, a woman named Allison, this wonderful writer that wrote for, she was a writer on AOL, and. And she came up with the idea of Not Bad for a Human. And I called Jim Cameron and said, can I use it? And he said he'd be honored. So that, I was grateful for that. Because that perfectly describes my life. Not bad for a human. I mean, that's about it. 